What up, YouTube? Big Little Big Louise Coach Review back again with another review, and today we're here to do a little review on the Get Low Copper Mod. This is a competition mod straight out of fucking Russia. Let me tell you something. I know the vape scene has been blowing up. Everywhere else, aside from America, it's been blowing up in China, it's been blowing up in Russia, France, Italy, Greece, fucking Kuwait. I mean, the vape scene is spreading like fire. We're getting people to convert from smoking to vaping all over the world. And this is pretty intense, okay? I gotta say that seeing innovation in another country, like a foreign land is something pretty amazing to me every time I come across something. And it's amazing to see that the mechanical tube mods are still loved around the world. Because everybody knows that everything is regulated this, regulated that. Everything is regulated, okay? Because everybody who's a smoker that switches to vaping starts usually about 90% of the times on a regulated device. Very rare do they start on a mechanical device now if we go back seven years ago seven years ago people were vaping on mechanical tube mods there really wasn't that many regulated devices if there were they weren't great you know so uh a lot of people were using like you know bogue cardamizers and so forth but they were screwed in to a mechanical tube mod which just housed a single 18650 but the ohms you were at on the resistance of that coil was most likely a poop a 2.3 ohm coil or a 1.5 ohm coil not a 0.15 a 1.5 so back in the day people used mech mods but it's nice to see that competition highly conductive copper mechanical tube mods is being influenced all around the world and i love hearing stuff like that okay now i got hit up by this company get low mods right we're gonna go check out their website real quick right here so i'm on a website for get low mods and this company's out of russia now when you go to the web page uh, the web page seems to be like it's under works or they're doing something to fix the website or something like that but the web page will pop up in Russian. It'll have all this crazy Russian writing on it. So if you're using Google Chrome, please use the translate application part of the, the web page. You'll see it on the top hand section of your address bar. We can translate it from Russian to English. Now, even though it does translate, it doesn't translate it in the best of ways where it's actually 100% legible, but they're saying your own sub own beast. Get some, get low, get low mods, okay? All right, so searching the web, I was trying to find uh, an actual site where you guys can go to pick up this device, basically. Since their website is down, maybe you'd have some luck elsewhere. So I came across this site. It's vk.com, zenmod.ru, okay? And, uh, you know, it's basically another place where you can pick up the mech mod uh, if you're interested in picking it up. Uh, this one sells for 6,000 rubles. Uh, if you don't know how much 6,000 rubles are, let's go to the Google conversion. So 6,000 rubles actually equals up to $92.82. All right, so their site is not fully functional yet, okay? And it's still a very new company. They have had other mechanical tube mods, and they also have a Cerakoted black version. I requested the copper, okay? I like solid copper, and I love the fact on how much this fucking thing shines i mean this you could see it's just sparkly super sparkly and it's such a nice copper and mechanical tube mod but what i love mostly about it so after some research i had discovered that this button is actually not solid silver but it is a 40 micron silver plated copper button basically it's pretty lightweight i gotta say for for copper it is pretty lightweight and yet uh the silver plating on it is pretty thick they from what i was told it's about a 40 micron silver plating on here uh as opposed to the glm version one they had a copper button 
that was surrounded by magnets with a floating button, basically. Kind of like the uh, Tugboat Flawless Mod version 1. Uh, this is the, the version 1 GLM was similar to that, but this one is just a button that is silver-plated copper, and it's a 40 micron silver plating. And on the inside of the tube mod, right where the button is, you can see there's a slight groove that they put on the inside of the tube. The reason why they put that groove in there is so when you slide your button in, it will not go past that groove, basically. So that is the max distance that button will travel. <laughs> we're going to super sub ohm the fuck out of this. We're, that's exactly what we're going to do with this mod. So if we look at the copper tube mod itself, it is a 24 millimeter in diameter copper tube mod. It is super shiny. They have got the mirror shine to this tube mod. It is a hybrid 510 connection. You, could, you can see that if you have, let's say, a comp life deck that's roughly about a 20 millimeter deck, it will sit a little lower on this hybrid. Um, and you do see down at the bottom here, let's go up close. You can see I have number 1311. Now this kind of works like the sub ohm shorty and the broadside mod where you simply just unscrew the bottom portion. You have a male thread on the tube itself, a female thread on the cap. And then what you have button with a spring and a piece of Delrin to adjust for battery height. This motherfucker cooks. Very nice design. Very simple. Simplistic and very conductive. Very, very nice. Very good job. They did a great job on this button. Simple and easy. Who can complain? Drop your batteries in. Positive up. Fit in your button. Fits in there smoothly. There's no rubbing of any sort it just goes in nice and clean and the threads are incredibly clean on the end very nice threads almost seamless you do feel a slight lip but it doesn't matter this is a competition mod this is meant for comping and cloud chasing and that's it this fucking thing is meant to be responsive and hit really freaking hard so the wire that we're going to be using is third rail wire found these guys on instagram it's competition wire it's like a mixture of nichrome 80 and nichrome 90 works really well we're going to be using 24 gauge we're going to do a two wire parallel around a three millimeter bit and we're going to do a continuous build and wrap it about five times around a three millimeter bit At this point, I'm using a screwdriver on my thumb to pull in the wire and create a curl to make it easier to wrap the coil around the rod. So I'm gonna try and get my final wire into this hole right here because we've already utilized this post here. So I gotta wrap my wires going towards that direction. And do this, a little tedious. You want your coil to be as close to your post as you can. So when you're wrapping, you know, you gotta make sure your two wires are parallel next to each other, that they're always parallel. And there's no misrepresentation in, in the way the wires are parallel. It's our fourth wrap, and then we go into our fifth wrap Now, what I like to do is when we get to the fifth wrap, grab my pliers, I yank on the wire, I pull it tight, pull single wire, and then I pull the two wires to make sure I'm always getting a tight coil, okay? Because afterwards, I'm going to have to sit there and squeeze this coil together and make sure that the coil is always together properly. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to curl my wire. The way I curl my wire is I take a screwdriver, put my thumb on it and pull I get a little I straightens out the wire and it curls it as well so it gives it that arc already 
So this way I could just drop the wire. I could bring it over to my post hole. Pulling it tight. When you're doing continuous builds, it's always important to make sure your wires that are parallel are always next to each other and you're always using a good amount of strength and force to pull on the wire. Now when I trap the wire, I angle out my coil a little bit this way. I pull it away. This way it gives me room to push my coil over afterwards. And then I tighten up real tightly. That's why this deck is really important to use because it's really conductive and it has titanium screws up top. So they don't strip when you're tightening up your coils super tight. Afterwards, when I heat up these coils, I'm going to pinch them closer and closer. But for now, I'm going to do it while they're cool. So we got a 0.08 ohm build. So in this build, we got the GM Coils Large Fuse Clapton's 24 gauge Cantal cores, and um, we got 38 gauge Twisted Messers Nichrome 80. But instead of it being five wraps on a three millimeter, I turned it into four wraps on a three millimeter, which is ohming out to a 0.06 ohms. So I have 0.06 ohms. Whoa, this fucking thing is super fucking conductive. Wow, this is a really nice conducting mechanical tube mod. Like I said, it, it kind of reminds me of my broadside mod and my sub-ohm shorty mod. The button is really simple and it works really, really well. Oh, and the juice of choice that I'm vaping on today, which is a juice that I can't seem to get enough of, is this company right here, Diggs elixirs okay uh this flavor is called lick the beater 60 mils it's like a budget juice company that has like high quality juice for budget prices i got a review up and coming on it so just you know hang tight you'll get the review on it but uh i've been loving it really loving this one lick the beater it's called fucking good ass flavor that's angry folks That's an angry motherfucker right there. I'm not pushing the clouds out hard because they're super dense and super hot. Super hot. Mm, very nice. I'm going to open up the air all the way because this is actually a very hot build. For 92 bucks, this fucking thing is pretty incredible. I'm going to screw on the other build that we did in this video. We're going to put on the um, 
Armageddon RDA. First, we're going to see how nice it looks, and then we're also going to see how well it vapes on here. Being that it's gold-plated, I just want to check the conductivity levels. I'm going to be dripping on this one, a little Glory Hole by Mike Vapes. This is a coffee-flavored e-liquid. It's fucking incredible. I seem to just be loving this e-liquid as well. This is a great e-liquid. That's angry. Whew. That's going to be an angry fucker right there. Damn. Gold-plated RDA by um, Armageddon Manufacturing. This is the Apocalypse RDA. That's the heat-treated version. They also make a whole bunch of other versions as well. In different cap styles as well. But this is fucking... This, to me, gold-plated RDA takes the cake the uh the comp life is super conductive but you know what if i had the battle deck that was silver plated battle deck which is the silver plated copper or the solid silver comp life battle deck that is a deck i would love to try on this one i don't have it because i didn't spend a hundred and whatever dollars on that rda you know this is the uh 80 rda basically with just a basic copper post but this motherfucker super conductive Wow. <laughs> wow. This, I don't know, it's going to be hard. You know, the broadside has always been my favorite mechanical tube mod. And before that was a sub bone shorty. Now, <laughs> this is a hard-hitting mod. This is a hard hitter. Holy shit, this, this, is, this, a, this is a fucking hard-hitting mod. These GM coils on here that I got on here... The, uh, the fuse clapton's that I got in here. Canthol as the core. So he has two-wire canthol as the core, but he wraps it in Nichrome 80 Twisted Messes. So it actually vapes really well for having it for having it be a canthol, you know, core. You know, canthol takes a bit of time to ramp up. I can only imagine what a stainless steel build. Oh, my God. I should have did a fucking stainless steel... I, I, my next build on this is going to be a stainless steel wire build because that's super low resistance and that's just the best flavor. But holy shit, the flavor I'm getting out of this RDA on this mech mod, if I was in a cloud comp, this fucking setup right here would be this shit right here. It's just so easy to blow clouds with this setup. This fucking setup with this build and everything, ridiculous. Wow. <laughs> That's just incredible. Incredible. So from the YouTube, peace out. Like, comment, and subscribe. I'm out of here. Laters.